हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन अवर प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैड स्टडीड ट्रिग्नोमेट्रिक टेबल नाउ टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डू एक्सरसाइज 8.2 पॉइंट टू वेयर क्वेश्चन इंक्लूड द वैल्यूज ऑफ दैट टेबल साइन सिक्सटी कोस थर्टी साइन थर्टी कोस सिक्सटी एज शोन ऑन द टेबल राइट दिस इज फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट पार्ट वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट एंड दिस एक्सरसाइज इज वेरी ईजी जस्ट वट यू नीड टू डू यू नीड टू लर्न द वैल्यूज हैव अ लुक ऑन द बोर्ड साइन सिक्सटी वॉट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ साइन सिक्सटी इट इज रूट थ्री बाय टू कोस थर्टी वैल्यू ऑफ कोस थर्टी इज अगेन इट इज रूट थ्री बाय टू साइन थर्टी इज वन बाय टू cos 60 it is also 1 by 2 root 3 into root 3 it is 3 2 into 2 4 1 into 1 1 2 into 2 4 so what we need to take take 4 lcm you will get 3 plus 1 by 4 and what next it will be 4 by 4 which will be cancelled and final answer will be 1 so very easy exercise only point is first one is learn the values and second one is what is the second one second one is the calculation because there will be few questions where you will put the values but you will find the calculation difficult we are going to cover all the five parts of first question have a look on the second part 2 times tangent square 45 degree plus cos square 30 degree minus sin square 60 degree see what will we do value of tangent 45 is 1 value of cos 30 is root 3 by 2 and value of sin 60 is root 3 by 2 see cos 30 is root 3 by 2 we have put sin 60 is root 3 by 2 we have put so this is very easy now this is minus root 3 by 2 square this is plus root 3 by 2 square those can be cancelled let us just do one more step root 3 square is 3 2 square is 4 root 3 square is 3 2 square is 4 so these two are cancelled our final answer is 2 so first two parts we are done let's move to third part let us start part number 3 cos 45 over secant 30 plus cosecant 30 value of cos 45 it is 1 by root 2 and value of secant 30 it is the reciprocal of cos 30 right cos 30 was root 3 by 2 so it will be 2 by root 30, root 3. Sorry, cosecant 30 is reciprocal of sine 30. Sine 30 is 1 by 2, so cosecant 30 is 2. Now take the LCM in denominator. Root 3 will be LCM. 2 plus 2 times root 3. Right. So what next we need to do? 1 by root 2, as it is. and this root 3 will be written here in the numerator and 2 plus 2 root 3 will come here next step root 3 into 1 root 3 these two will be multiplied 2 into root 2 2 root 2 2 root 3 into root 2 2 root 6 what we can do now we can rationalize 2 root 2 plus 2 root 6 multiply 2 root 2 minus 2 root 6 upon 2 root 2 minus 2 root 6 right this is the way we can do the calculation multiplying these two we get 2 root 6 minus 2 times root 18 in denominator 
ए स्केयर माइनस बी स्केयर टू कॉमन वी गेट रूट सिक्स माइनस रूट एटीन टू स्केयर इज फोर रूट टू स्केयर इज टू फोर टू जार एट टू स्केयर इज फोर रूट सिक्स स्केयर इज सिक्स फोर इंटू सिक्स ट्वेंटी फोर दिस इज वट वी हैव गॉट एज ऑफ नाउ देन टू इज ऑलरेडी कॉमन रूट एटीन कैन बी रिटर्न एज थ्री रूट टू एंड इन डिनोमिनेटर वी हैव माइनस सिक्सटीन टू वन जार टू एट जार वी गेट रूट सिक्स माइनस थ्री रूट टू अपॉन माइनस एट राइट इफ आई मल्टीप्लाई न्यूमरेटर एंड डिनोमिनेटर बोथ बाय माइनस वन वट विल हैपन दिस थ्री रूट टू विल बिकम पॉजिटिव रूट सिक्स विल बिकम नेगेटिव एंड साइन ऑफ डिनोमिनेटर विल ऑल्सो चेंज सो माई फाइनल आंसर विल बी थ्री रूट टू माइनस रूट सिक्स अपॉन एट आई होप यू आर क्लियर विद द कंसेप्ट लेट्स मूव टू नेक्स्ट पार्ट फोर्थ पार्ट ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन लेट्स मूव टू फोर्थ पार्ट साइन थर्टी डिग्री प्लस टेन जन फोर्टी फाइव डिग्री माइनस को सिकेंड सिक्सटी डिग्री अपॉन सिकेंड थर्टी डिग्री प्लस को सिक्सटी डिग्री प्लस को टेन जन फोर्टी फाइव डिग्री लेट्स पुट द वैल्यूज वंस साइन थर्टी डिग्री वैल्यू इज वन बाय टू टेन जन फोर्टी फाइव इज वन को सिकेंड सिक्सटी रेसी प्रोकॉल ऑफ साइन सिक्सटी साइन सिक्सटी इज रूट थ्री बाय टू सो इट मस्ट बी टू बाय रूट थ्री डिनोमिनेटर सी कैंड थर्टी रेसी प्रोकॉल ऑफ कोस थर्टी कोस थर्टी इज रूट थ्री बाय टू सो इट मस्ट बी टू बाय रूट थ्री राइट कोस सिक्सटी कोस सिक्सटी वैल्यू इज वन बाय टू and cotangent 45 its value is 1 now we need to take lcm in numerator as well as in denominator both ways so 2 root 3 is the lcm in numerator it is only 2 here so root 3 will be multiplied with 1 we get root 3 it is only 1 so 1 into 2 root 3 2 root 3 minus root 3 is there this 2 will be multiplied with 2 we get 4 so very easy to take lcm numerator is done let's take lcm in denominator also same lcm 2 root 3 in denominator 2 into 2 4 plus <coughs> this is what we get this 2 root 3 and 2 root 3 cancel because both are same let's move ahead what next step is there see root 3 plus 2 root 3 3 root 3 we get 3 root 3 minus 4 and in denominator 4 plus 3 root 3 right we have got this what we are going to do <clears throat> this is three root three minus four. I am writing it as minus four plus three root three to make the same kind of pattern, right? Then what we need to do? We need to rationalize it. Rationalizing means four minus three root three, four minus three root three. Okay, now. Just do the multiplication. Minus four multiplied with four. What do we get? We get minus sixteen. Minus four with minus three root three minus minus plus four threes are twelve root three. Three into four twelve root three and three into minus three. Three into minus three is minus nine. Root three into root three three. So minus nine into three we get minus twenty seven. And in denominator, a square minus b square. So this formula is there, which can be used. See, twenty seven and sixteen should be added. What will we get? We will get minus forty three when we add the, these both. 
then 12 and 12 24 24 root 3 4 square is 16 3 square is 9 9 threes are 27 so this is what we have got as of now let's move ahead next part <coughs> it will be minus 43 plus 24 root 3 over 16 minus 27 what will it be minus 11 so ultimately minus 1 should be multiplied in numerator as well as denominator to change the sign because I don't want this minus sign to be there in denominator so I'll get 43 minus 24 root 3 upon 11 just all the signs will be changed and I'll get my answer I hope this method is clear to you all last part of the day we are going to do fifth part of question number one fifth part five cos square 60 degree plus four secant square 30 degree minus tangent square 45 degree over sine square 30 degree plus cos square 30 degree first step let's put the values cos 60 value of cos 60 is 1 by 2 so 1 by 2 square as it is secant 30 reciprocal of cos 30 cos 30 is root 3 by 2 so it is 2 by root 3 let's put the value 2 by root 3 tangent 45 is 1 so we have put all the values sine 30 degree is 1 by 2 so 1 by 2 square cos 30 is root 3 by 2 so root 3 by 2 square so all the values we have put now let us solve this will become 5 by 4 2 square is 4 4 into 4 16 root 3 square is 3 minus 1 so see calculation becomes easier now it is 1 by 4 root 3 square is 3 so we get 3 by 4 right so let's move ahead with the calculation here 4 and 3 are there so we need to take LCM LCM will be 12 5 into 3 15 16 into 4 64 minus 12 and what we get in denominator 4 LCM 1 plus 3 see 64 I am writing as it is 15 minus 12 it is 3 upon 12 4 by 4 this 4 and 4 also cancelled so finally our answer is 64 plus 3 67 and upon 12 so 67 by 12 is the answer so today we have done all the parts of question number 1 where fourth part was there where a little bit difficult calculation was there but exercise is very easy please learn the values from the table with the method we have explained in the last lecture right so just subscribe our channel and click on the bell button as well so that whenever we upload our next video you will get the notification thank you so much